Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tunde. I'm a full-time mom and a part-time reseller. I'm selling women clothes on eBay and Vinted. And today I'm here with a quick video uh, about the reselling tools I'm using in my business. What are the must-haves and what are the optional tools if you are selling clothes online. So let's get straight into it. There are some things what you absolutely need to have, must to have actually, because without those things you are unable to fulfill um, the customer requirements, especially I'm talking about postage here. So if you are thinking about to selling clothes online or selling anything online, what you really need and must need is, you need to have a scale, because you need to know how much is your item weight uh, you need it for the postage especially if you are using royal mail you don't need any fancy things you see what i have here a kitchen scale up till today i'm i'm reselling nearly two years now i i never upgraded my scale you can buy postage scales postal postage postal scales on on online but you truly don't really need it if you are selling small items um actually yeah so for royal mail absolutely must have uh, i'm using hermes or in new name every uh, for them i'm i'm hardly using any scale because uh, i don't need to know exactly how much my item weighs if i hold them in my hand i can say approximately is it one kilo under one kilo or over one kilo if i feel like something might be on the edge then i'm using my little scale to check it but Otherwise, I'm not really using it. So, but anyway, you will need a scale so you you know exactly how much to charge for your postage. So this is a must-have. Other thing, what you must have, must have, mailing bags, gray mailing bags. You don't need to use the envelopes because padded envelopes, for example, gray mailing bags are perfect because they are lightweight, not really adding on. For your weight for your item so these are great things at the beginning you can get them either on amazon either on ebay uh, they're not costing that much when your scales are scales sales are picking up then it's recommended to uh, find a supplier for yourself from where you can get them in bulk um, i will link one down in the description which company i'm using they are really reliable uh, usually I'm ordering just uh, uh, every three months and they are lasting long, good quality. The size what I'm using, what is it? I think it's 12 inch times, no, sorry. Yeah, 12 inch, let me show you just a sec. Uh, let me open this. Here we go. This is the 12 inch times 9 inches. These are the ones I'm using most. It's perfect for shirts, smaller dresses, lightweight dresses, these kind of things. And I got a bigger size for like bulkier items like jackets or jumpers or bigger dresses. This one is 12 inches times 16 inches. So these are the two sizes I'm using. Um, yeah, so it's a must have. Uh, also, I'm recycling boxes. If I'm receiving orders from Amazon, for example, I got some shoes on sale. So I'm using those boxes uh, to send my items to my customer. So recycle. If, if you get boxes in good condition, recycle them. is saving you cost, saving from the environment. So that's that's a green thing, green choice to do. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, you also need to have a need to have you, should, you need to have a printer on a long run definitely you need to have a printer <clears throat> uh, I'm using my old HP printer but in case you don't get one you can always post on Royal Mail in the with on the post office or with Hermes for example when you are generating your label you can have your QR code and you can print your labels in in the parcel shops but I think you can even start the posting process process with Hermes for every. So if I'm say Hermes, that you mean I mean every. Uh, so you you can post them in uh, parcel shops. You don't need to have a printer, but on a long run, absolutely uh, a necessary thing to have a printer. Uh, have the label printers. That's an upgrade 
thing already when you are really want to save time when you are having plenty plenty of orders uh, that's definitely a good option i've never upgraded for one i'm still using my old printer so these are the basic things you need to have a scale um the mailing bags and the printer to be able to fulfill the orders from here now on what i'm talking about is most of them are related from clothing reselling and then optional things um, you can live without them you can do your business without them but uh, they, if you have them they are really really helpful so sitting with the mailing bags i got clear mailing bags also for storing my items because once I'm done my pictures straight I'm putting them into clear mailing bags and uh, they are going to my storage these are the same sizes like the um, uh, grey ones it's not a must have I like them it's speeding up my process to posting my items making them easier to store them also I know that once the clothes are clean and ironed and steamed they are not going to get crazy nicely folded once it's sold i just take it out from my box and ready to post then <clears throat> hangers if you are selling clothes you have different options to display your clothes the first one is flat lay you don't need anything for that you can have hangers for skirts and trousers for other things you see matalan i didn't spend money this is store hangers any hangers perfectly fine uh, when I started my reselling journey, journey, let's call it journey, um, I've uh, displayed my things on hangers. Uh, later on, about three months later, my very first investment was Maria, a hanging mannequin. <laughs> my husband was obsessed with her because of the boobs <laughs> when I received her. Uh, it was a very nice upgrade, but uh, she's a size six and eight um to be honest uh, better option than to display things on hangers but still um especially in bulk, bulk, bulkier not bulkier that heavier bigger sizes plus sizes items i was struggling to display properly my items with her so the next investment i did and which is really really helped in my business is Julie, Juliet, I don't know how can I show her, Julie, say hello to everyone, so she is my standing mannequin, who is lying down on me at the moment, let's give a cuddle, yeah, she's my photo assistant, I really, really love her, she's a size 14, 16, I purposely choose on a bigger mannequin, bigger size of mannequin, easier to display, plus size clothes, 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 plus size clothes, and um, the other thing that even if she's size 14 16 i'm still able to display size 10 clothes on her uh, if it is not enough stretchy then in that case maria is coming into the picture so for smaller sizes of clothes like size 8 and size 10 which is not enough stretchy i'm still using maria but um, mainly julie julie is my biggest help so um, when when you are having a little bit of profit and you want to invest into your business i really really recommend to get a standing mannequin uh, not the hanging one on our, i know standing mannequin is expensive but yes i know that's true and especially the beginning you need to be careful about your budget but on a long run trust me maybe 20 pounds extra but invest it and and get a standing mannequin instead the hang, hanging one so do that favor for yourself trust me then clothing what else we need oh i forgot must have the cello tapes yeah you need to have cello tapes okay uh, for your sticking up your labels if, if you are use if you are printing your labels you need cello tape you can get it in asda farmland it's not an expensive thing okay this one's done for clothing you will need measuring tape a long one okay not that long one but you need a measuring tape um do measurements and always put measurements into your descriptions uh it saves time for you because you don't need to ask their uh, customer questions because they will do ask for the measurements also it's kind of building buyer confidence so speeding up the sale process when you when the measurements are there so get one poundland again you can get it in poundland in the cheapest or you can 
order it online uh, i will put all the links what i'm showing you here in the description so if you're interested into something you want to invest into something you can check out check out check it see it decide about it if you need it or not so yeah measuring tape I need measuring tapes also uh, i really really recommend to have yeah it's sticking because it's a sticky tape sticking all the way i'm sticking other things so have a sticky roll uh if you have uh fluffs animal hair whatever what you couldn't remove from during the washing just roll it over really very very helpful um i cannot be without one of this i'm using plenty of them and especially because i'm using plenty of them and it's not really good for the environment yeah i've decided to upgrade i got this cloth brushes uh, i don't know how much you can say like that yeah uh, i got it from lidl uh, actually last week i got it uh it's it's 2.99 i think so absolutely cost nothing it's a bargain and uh, it does exactly the same thing like the sticky tape just yeah and i tried it it's it's removing the fluffs very very nicely so um, if you are on little and you still can find it i absolutely recommend it once you put it in and put it out pull it out again it's going to remove the fluffs from the surface and it's clean and ready to use for you again so this is aqua pour aqua pour if you see it in Lidl I recommend to get one for yourself and also if you are selling clothes threads sewing kits this one is actually also from Lidl I just got it newly $3.99 or something like that so you will need to fix sometimes holes fix the buttons so it's absolutely handy to have a full range of threads at home because there's plenty of color of clothes I, got, I already got some at home because everybody has some at home yeah fixing or open clothes but um, sometimes they are not enough I, I don't find the exact shade in my collection so I've just decided to oh this is a nice collection and let's go for it so for $3.99 that was a bargain from Lidl uh, fabric shaver it's a very very helpful tool if you are selling clothes but not just if you are selling clothes just actually to have one in your household when your items are a little bit bubbly they they really really shaving nicely the the fabrics and once you are done it's like you got a brand new item so absolutely recommend to have something like this around you then uh, displaying clothes um, it's never good to display them when they are oops please or you know dirty something like that so you have two options to tie them up tidy them up one of them is a steam iron it's i have the cable somewhere that hanging hooked up nothing fancy it's uh from lidl i bought it in lidl maybe 14.99 or something like that about a year ago uh, it's you know it's like cordless you just always need to put it back to heat it up and very very easy to to work with it um usually i'm using iron only for like cotton items or skirts linen especially for linen because yeah those ones are requiring to have an iron you don't need to invest it definitely you have an iron at home i believe you should have one yeah this is an upgrade towards towards compared to the iron uh handheld steamer i'm using the morphe richards one this is my second steamer i had a cheaper one previously i killed that one within six months or something like that this one i'm using nearly a year ago without any problem working perfectly i i absolutely recommend the murphy Rich, murphy, murphy richards steamer not cheap okay not cheap 60 something pounds it cost money but on the long run worth the investment so um having a handheld steamer is not a must you can absolutely use your iron to to tidy up your clothes to iron them to make them to look nicely but this one speeding up your process so you can save time with it and 
on most of the item is uh, not most of the item actually there are some items like like dresses delicate dresses like silk uh, not really recommended to use iron on them the handheld steamer is perfect so yeah if you if you have the chance get one for yourself this exact one i'm going to link the in into the description the link to the disc i will put the link in the description yeah and other thing not a must have optional it's like thank you stickers i'm always putting one thank you sticker on my clear mailing bag because before i i'm posting my items to to my customers actually i got them as a set i got four of them in here okay i cannot show it at the same time i will show it in step by step so we got the white one <clears throat> we got like a gold and black one saying thank you for supporting my small business also in the same pocket pocket package i got this one i didn't even open this one again thank you for supporting my small business and i have a pinky gold one i don't know how much you can see it um these are all together 2000 stickers six seven pounds something like that that's how much i ordered for them and it's a nice touch towards the customers cost nothing almost over three months i'm using these these rolls this one is almost finished this one was just started and i have to unopen so yeah it's going to last for long and also an optional thing what i'm doing i got these labels pull it out from ebay open with care and the reason why i got them my friend my best friend she ordered something from vinted i believe and during opening her parcel she used teaser and she got into her new blazer she was mad she was mad and um, actually that's after that that i decided that somehow to, to warn the customer that don't use scissors or even if you are using scissors you know just be gentle don't imagine i'm trying to package up my items as much as possible to protect them but um, just a nice touch i believe to to show them to show my customers that i do care what's happening with my parcels also a gentle reminder for them to don't damage it yeah just be gentle be careful and <clears throat> yeah sorry i'm just having a just the juice yeah so these are the things i'm i'm using so to recap basic things scale printer paper mailing bag and uh, sellotape these five must have everything else is just a nice addition a nice addition and the nice addition is standing in here with here front of me just it wasn't on my left side on my right side and i forgot to talk about that um i don't know how i'm going to show you this let me turn you around excuse the mess we got here a soft light box a standing one um i'm using this one for lighting um it's a good one uh, also wasn't the cheapest around 35 pounds something like that i i paid for it but um, when you are starting you don't really need to have a lighting when it's sunny outside nice weather outside use the use the natural light but we are living in the uk when are we seeing sunshine yep never anyway so to have a light kit light box sorry um that's really really helpful so you can take your pictures anytime you wish for example for me at the beginning it was really really helpful because most of the times i took my pictures at the evening after my baby was sleeping so i could work at the evening when i got this light i'm, I'm no longer doing that i'm trying to work during daytime as much as possible so yeah so light useful thing also i also got a ring light that one is holding my phone at the moment 
Mm, to be honest, I'm, I'm not that impressed of that one. Definitely cheaper than, than the light box, the soft light box. But uh, again, it's the same thing like with the steamer. I think worth to invest a little bit more into the lighting if you want to invest into lighting and, and get a proper standing light box. I'm, I have just only that one. Um, about the shadows, um, yeah, it does give some shadows because I'm using only one light, not two. But I'm not bothering about that one because uh, I'm removing my backgrounds with photo room up and uh, yeah, no issue with the shadows like that. So yeah, these are the tools I'm using. I will put everything down in the link, in the link, in all the links in the description so you can find them. And I hope you found this one useful and forgot one more thing. Hang on, yeah, because it's hiding under the mailing bags. The plus one tip, okay? Oops, and my iron is falling down. <laughs> so the tip plus, okay, what else is falling? Tip, uh, I'm having a little book, nothing special, just a notebook. And when I'm taking the measurements or when I'm taking my photos, I always write it up. First of all, that uh, in which storage box I'm planning to put them in. I write the item, I write up the measurements, and if there's any information what I probably am not going to see uh, from the photos, like for example the coral of the lining, or if there's any, any extra thing I think it's good to note down, I'm using it as a notebook. So, you know, later on I can check back anything, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm losing pieces of papers, I have all my information whenever I'm ready to list. I know where I will put my items, I get the measurements, I got the extra information. Actually this one costs nothing again, it's a half full thing for yourself. Yeah, it's absolutely working for me. So, uh, I already see that one, then some people are, for example, putting measurements on a little piece of paper and they photo them together with the, with the items, so they have that information on the phone when they are uh, creating their listings for me. This book version thing it's it's working out very well i'm a little bit of old fashioned of falling gravity today we have gravity so i'm a little bit of old fashioned about this kind of things i'm still like to use uh, pens papers yeah as much as possible i'm using digital dig digital okay so today is the day you can ban no. yeah if you see my videos you know i got some issues about talking properly uh digital yeah digital so i'm using digital things uh it's not that that i'm that old-fashioned but uh, on some occasions like this for me it's still pen and paper working out the best way so that was the extra trip trip tip for today and i'm something like a little bit messy anyway um camera fixed um yeah i really checked everything around yeah yeah, I showed you everything. Yeah, I did. So, okay. So these are the tools again. Links in the description. Hope you found it useful. Hope you, you can benefit some of this information. If you are new, don't rush to get these kind of things. Okay, step by step by step. You don't need to have everything at the same time because you are going to overwhelm yourself financially. Not sure you are going to get that profit back straight into your business. So step by step you see that this one i buy this one that one i buy that one i didn't get them at the same time it took me over six months to get everything what i've showed you here so no rush okay just slowly 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 you will build up your tools and um yeah tools boxes get boxes okay also to store your items um uh, i will show i will do a video later on how i'm storing my items i'm having plastic tubs tubs tubes tubs plastic boxes but you don't need to have that one simple cardboard boxes you can use so at, especially at the beginning when you don't have that much item you can use just recycle boxes for example from your amazon orders or whatever or just go into your local shop and ask them if, you, if they have some cardboard boxes they don't want to use anymore so you can store your items in those ones too but anyway let it be this a uh, topic for another video uh of 
we are heading for the Easter holiday now. So next two weeks I'm not going to create any more new videos. And once the Easter holiday is over, I promise you that's going to be my next thing uh, to, to create a video about how I'm storing my items and I will show you around in my storage cupboard. Not much to say. Anyway, take care guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.